Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Ash the OT and I provide parents tools and strategies in order to help the little children in their lives to learn, grow, and make progress. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about exactly what is autism. I'm going to be sharing with you 10 facts about autism. So getting right into it, number one, what is autism? Autism, also known as ASD or Autism Spectrum Disorder, is a developmental and neurological condition, which is characterized by challenges with social skills, challenges with nonverbal communication and speech, as well as the observance of restricted and repetitive behaviors. Number two, there is no individual or child who has autism who presents exactly the same as another individual with autism, just as no human being is exactly the same as another human being. So it's important to know that there is a wide range of characteristics of individuals with autism, which is why it is a spectrum disorder. Some individuals or children may need a lot more support, whereas some may need very minimal supports. And the supports may be in all different types of areas. Some may need more supports in motor skills. Some may need more support in their speech and language. Some may need more supports with cognition and problem solving and thinking, whereas some may need more support in just their daily self-help care skills. In general, the severity of autism will vary from person to person. The third thing you should know about autism is that parents and individuals typically will start to notice majority of the signs of autism around the ages of two to three years old. And this is also when a lot of children are also diagnosed with autism. However, some children have even been screened for autism as early as 18 months of age, and even signs have been recognized as early as six months of age. So the earlier that your child is diagnosed, the earlier that your child is screened, especially in those early childhood years, the better their outcomes typically will be. Which brings me to my next point, number four, if you are noticing signs of autism, and make sure you check out my other video that I will link in the description below in which I talk about some of the most common signs of autism. But if you do notice that your child is showing some signs of autism, please reach out to your doctor or medical professional as soon as possible so that they can refer you to the proper specialist to get screened or to get a proper diagnosis or evaluation. Some of the specialists that can evaluate your child for autism include developmental pediatricians as well as child neurologists. So just remember, the earlier, the better. The fifth thing that you should know about autism is that there is not one single cause of autism. Research is still being performed and studies are still being conducted. However, they have concluded that there is not one single thing that causes autism, but in fact, it is likely caused by a variety of different factors, including environmental factors, biological factors, and genetic factors. The sixth thing that you should know about autism is that it does not discriminate. Autism can occur in individuals of all racial, ethnic, and socioeconomic groups. The seventh thing that you should know about autism is that it is diagnosed in one out of every 54 individuals. Also, it is four times more common for boys to be diagnosed than girls. Fact number eight is that it is common for children who have autism spectrum disorder to also have sensory processing disorder. However, just because a child has sensory processing disorder does not automatically qualify them as having autism. Fact number nine is that there is no cure for autism. As I said before, the earlier that your child can get the appropriate treatment, the better. Early intervention, which is a program in most states for children ages three and under, is an awesome program that will help to pr improve your child's development if they are recognized to have autism at an early age. And last but not least, fact number 10, or the 10th thing that you should know about autism is that although there is no cure, there are many different treatment approaches for autism. Some treatment approaches include behavioral analysis or ABA therapy, 
developmental therapy, occupational therapy with an SI approach or sensory integration approach. Also, there is physical therapy, speech therapy, and also other alternatives such as medications and even dietary approaches. So guys, thank you for listening in and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are aware of any time I post a new video that will be dedicated to educating parents and other therapists as well as caregivers to help the children in their lives. Also, if you have any comments or questions or concerns, leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out my other video. Like I said before, I will link it in the description below, which will discuss some of the 10 most common signs of autism. Thanks guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.